Hi, I'm Tracy Christensen, your host for Community Connection. Living here in Utah, we're blessed to be surrounded by creative and artistic people with many opportunities to express their talents. If you're looking for a fun activity for the whole family, Chalk the Block at the shops at Riverwoods may be just the thing. Local chalk artists come together at this event to create a gallery for the public's enjoyment. Today, we have Mikkel Law and Lawrence Packer here to tell us about all the activities surrounding this year's Chalk the Block. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for yeah. having us. Yeah, this is Good your fifth here. year. Is that right? Yes, it's our fifth year. Wow. It's exciting. I can't believe that it's grown so much in the last five years. But yeah, it's our biggest, best year yet, I yep. think. It's grown every year since the beginning. It gets bigger and bigger each year. And why do you think? Why is it growing? I think because of the popularity of it. The local artists come, and we also have some professional artists that come. But one of the fun things is people will come the first day and see it started and then come back on Saturday to see the finished product, and they get to see the whole thing from start to finish. Mm -hmm. Such That's a process. Really How many days is it? It's three days. So it starts on Thursday, September 22nd, goes through Saturday, September 24th. And Thursday, some of the artists will start, some of them won't. Um, but they'll just maybe just be outlining and sketching the, the base. And then Friday and Saturday is one that really starts in earnest. Now, many people have seen pictures and some have seen it live, but just let's talk about chalk art and, and how, what this process is and what kind of things people can expect to see. Oh, it's, it's incredible. So we will have this year close to 450 artists that are local, and then we'll have um, six professional artists. Two of them come from California, and then the rest of the professionals are from Utah. And the process that it takes to lay down the chalk and to get the, you know, the finished product, it does take them the three days. Um, so they grid it out, and they have their picture you know, of what they're going to do, and they are able to recreate it big. Um, the, the chalking spaces are, I believe, 9 feet by 16 feet um, for the normal, and then the professionals are doing 20 foot by 20 foot 3D pieces which is incredible. And so what they what they tend to do is they start, like Lawrence said, chalking it out um, with a grid and then they lay down layer upon layer mm -hmm. their their final piece until they're finished on Saturday. Hours and hours, hours. of beautiful hours work of art. Work. Yes. And it won't stay. It's all temporary. <laughs> it, it is, it is. I actually asked our artists about that one time. I said, how does it feel to create this masterpiece that you put on the pavement and to know that it's going to be temporary to be gone washed away and she said she's like for me it's part of, that's the thrill of it the thrill of it is it's created once to never to be created again and I I just thought that that was a really cool it's thing because yeah it's a good perspective because yeah. I would be <laughs> after hours and hours yeah it'd it's be hard so much work yeah, but 450 work. artists and and six professionals like mm -hmm. you say and and what's the um, purpose of this event purpose is to just uh, support the arts in the community and give people an opportunity, local artists, to come and display their talent that a lot of people don't know we have in the, in the community. And so that's very fun. It's amazing how much talent we have. Everyone from you know, high school and younger kids up through college kids and just people from the community. It's a mm -hmm. lot of fun. And then and, uh, the proceeds from registration and our sponsorship to go towards the um, Utah Autism Academy here uh, locally for, for families affected with, uh, the autism, with autism here Wonderful. in Utah Valley. Which are many families. Yes, so. yes, and That's so great. it's great been great. We've been able to partner with them. This will be the fifth year. They've been with us since the beginning. They were formerly Clear Horizons and now under the name of uh, Utah Autism Academy. So we're grateful to have them back again. And Lawrence, I know you're a board member for Chalk the Block and you're also with the Shops at Riverwoods. That's correct. I'm the general manager of the Shops at Riverwoods and we're happy to host this event and we just think it's the perfect venue for it and we love to support the arts in the community and so we're happy to have them. Another fun thing we're doing this year that's a little different is we wanted to make people aware of other artisans that are in the community and so we're on display mm -hmm. we're going to have someone doing pottery, we're going to have the woodcarvers club come, we're going to have a blacksmith, we're going to have um, uh, glassworks, glass mm -hmm. a lot of things where if people are interested in that they'll be able to hook up with people locally here where they can know to learn and go and do it or take a class. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Oh, leatherworking was the other one yeah. that was going to that will be participating. Such the, a wide range. The kids will be able to come and make a little leather bracelet that, with the Chalk the Block logo on it so they can yeah. take it with them when oh, they go. I love it. And some food's going to be around. Be a oh, lot of food a lot of around. Food. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of food. music on the, on the gazebo, mm -hmm. entertainment, a lot of activities and games. It's three days of a lot of fun. Three days. And mm -hmm. remind us your website so people can go and make a plan. It's www.chalktheblock.net. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck. 
Thank you. Sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks Thank for you. telling us about it. Thanks Thank for having you. us. The events associated with Chalk the Block are designed for the entire family. So if you'd like to learn more about their activities and others around our neighborhoods, please log on to our website at kbyu11.org. We hope you'll join us again on Community Connection.